Okay, good morning. Now today we have the question five. Let's have a look at the question five. In the figure, triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, and if CD is an altitude of triangle ABC. Okay, now A. We prove that triangle ABAC is similar to triangle BCD, and also B. Prove that triangle BCD is similar to triangle CAD. Okay, lastly. Uh, we will have BC equals A, AC equals six, and we find the CD. Okay, now first of all, how can we solve this problem easily? So why don't you just write down the what the question gives to you? That is, CD is an altitude of triangle ABC. So CD, we got these two right angle because CD is the altitude. So we have three right angle. Now BAC, the bigger one. And also the B C D, okay, the middle one. So now, okay, let's focus. Okay, now we are going to prove they are similar. So first of all, we have this right angle, okay, and also we have the this one is the common angle once again. So we have two angles, and we have enough information for you to prove that they are similar. So A, in triangle BAC and triangle BCD. Okay, first of all, angle BCA BCA will equals angle BCA. B, D, C. This is given because they are right angle. Okay. Now next one, angle A, B, C equals angle C, B, D. This is the common angle. Okay. Once again, we are going to prove the last angles are equal. That is angle B, A, C will equals 180 degrees minus angle B, C, A minus angle A, B, C. That is the angle sum of triangle equals 180 degrees minus. Okay, now we have BCA once again. This is equal to BDC, so I change it to angle BDC because they are equal. Okay, now minus ABC equals CBD. That is CBD. We change it only. Okay, now this is one you equal to angle BCD. The reason is the angle sum of triangle again. Okay. So we know that the triangles BAC is similar to triangle BCD. The reason one is A, A, A. Once again. Okay, now for part B, we know that this time is triangle BCD and also the triangle CAD. Okay, now how can we know that they are equal? Because we know this well. First of all, in triangle, in triangle BCD and triangle CAD. Now, first of all, because they will have they are have right angle here. So first one, angle B D C. Oh, I'm sorry. So let's have a look. Angle B, D, C equals B, D, C, C, D, A. This is given because they are right angle. Next one, for this one, we've proved B, A, C. We equal C, a B, C, D. So that is angle, we have angle B, A, C. B A C. That means B A C is the B A C. That one is the okay. B A C equals angle B C D. Prove that. That means B A C, which equals to angle equals angle. Okay, now B A C. That is D A C here. Okay, angle B C D. That will be equal to angle B C 
B. Okay, also this is okay, no reason here. Okay, the last one we will prove that the B C D. We know it. We will prove that angle D B C and angle A C D are equal. So what can we do? Once again, we can use the angle sum of triangle. Angle C B D equals 180 degrees minus angle B D C minus angle B C D. Okay, this is angle sum of triangle. Okay, we have this one. Okay, let's focus it. Next one, I change it 180 degrees minus C D A and minus angle D A C. And finally, we change that CBD, we equals angle ACD. So triangle BCD is similar to triangle CAD. That is A, A, A. Once again. Okay, for part C, how can we solve the problem? Okay, let's have a look. For part C. This time, we know that BC is 8CM. AC is 6 cm. Okay, let's have an easy way to solve this problem. For part C, in case you know that something you know. For the area of triangle ABC, sorry, ABC, you know that is 6 times 8 over 2, that is 24 cm square, right? Okay, now. So what can we do? Do you know how to find AB? In case you are so easy for you to find AB because AB square will equal 6 square plus x square that is Pythagoras theorem. So we have AB square equals 100 and AB will equals 10. Okay, this time with AB is the base CD is the altitude, so once again, area of triangle ABC will equals 10 times CD over 2, and this one is equals to 24. So the final answer you will have is 10 times CD will equals 48, and CD will equals 4.8 cm. Okay? For part C, sometimes you can use the area of triangles to solve the length of, the, of some altitudes or even some base. So, hope you know how to do question 5. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.